Already the NHS is struggling to cope with the demands of winter. The queue of ambulances outside New Cross Hospital in Wolverhampton, typical of emergency departments across the country. Now the challenge of offering all adults a booster by the end of the year means something has to give. Our intention at the present time is to continue with our elective uh, programme of work. We need to review that obviously daily, depending on what the demand is in terms of booster vaccines. So as we look and see what sort of activity could be stood down, we look at what priority it is, and there are different priorities of surgery. The government says that cancer appointments, for example, won't be cancelled. Can you say with certainty that there will be no cancer appointments cancelled? I don't think you would ever want to say you can never say never. Certainly our intention at the moment is not to cancel any cancer appointments. With a record number, almost six million people on waiting lists for non-urgent hospital treatment in England, any cancellations will add to a growing backlog. For many patients, some of whom may have waited a long time for appointments and may have faced cancellations in the past, it'll now be a nervous few weeks as they wait to see if things can go ahead as planned. Patients like Dawn Partridge, who has epilepsy. Her consultant appointment in Preston cancelled. She won't be able to see a doctor now until after Christmas. Uh, they just said that my neurologist wasn't available. and I got told January, but in all honesty, I'm not holding my breath on it because, like I say, the, this is the third time the appointment's been cancelled now. I've not been seen in probably 12 months now. GPs running vaccine clinics now inundated with people booking boosters. Good afternoon, Alfred Squires Vaccination Centre. Debbie speaking, I'm a how. They accept it'll be even harder to get a GP appointment for anything non-urgent in the next few weeks. The pressures over the last few months have been um, pretty intense and as you say, um, access has been you know, a particularly difficult issue for, uh, for patients. Um, there's, there's, there's quite a lot of work going on to try uh, and, and manage that, but as we try to do that, this vaccine situation comes along. Delivering vaccines at the scale and pace required will undoubtedly add more pressure to a health service that's already stretched like never before. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Wolverhampton.